And welcome everybody here in Twitch Chance and everybody on YouTube for some Mardu enchantments in Best of One. We've played a couple of different versions of Mardu enchantments in Best of One and Best of Three here in the past. And we've played this version before, but I'm going back to it because um, this is kind of our, our jankier version, I guess, because we get to play four Revenge of Ravens, and this is just kind of what I felt like doing. So we're going to have four Revenge of Ravens, four Fires of Invention. You know, like That's what we're really trying to do here is it's, you know, just play another Fires of Invention deck. We know how good that card is. But Revenge of Ravens is an enchantment that is a pretty powerful enchantment, but it's not good if you, like, you have to spend your whole turn just to play it at four mana. It's just kind of overcosted for standard. Um, but, you know, every time your opponent attacks you, they lose a life, you gain a life. That can add up. You know, it's just, it's like the opposite of Cavalcade of Calamity, which, you know, Cavalcade costs two mana. This costs four. But to help that out that's why we're playing the fires because with fires you get to play two spells so you know like we have fires in play we can play revenge of ravens and do something else and so it's not just a, a huge you know use of mana because of revenge of ravens or because of fires of invention of course we're going with starfield mystics with this version too kind of want to try out starfield mystic uh, before and it, and it worked pretty well i have to say plus that art just looks amazing and so we're we're going with the the starfield mystics that can help us play um, Revenge of Ravens for cheaper, and same with Fires and all these other ones. Outlaws Merriment, get some cheaper versions of all these things. Got two Ethereal Absolutions up at the top end. We didn't play Ethereal Absolution last time, uh, but this time we're definitely going to be playing it, especially with how there's more Cauldron Familiars running around and everything. So yeah, we're, we're going with a couple Ethereal Absolutions um, up at the top end. With when Fires of Invention's in play, which is Obviously, it's going to make our deck a lot better when it is. But when it's in play, we still want ways to use our mana. And so that's where we have Dawn of Hope, Theater of Horrors, um, Castle Ardenvale. Those are all ways to be able to use our mana still. Uh, Theater of Horrors in particular is going to be so much better when we have Fires of Invention. Because when we don't, we're not really doing damage to them. So it's going to be hard to play the extra cards. But when we have Fires of Invention, we can keep activating the theater to um, do one damage to them. So then we can play the cards uh, the extra cards that we get from that, and that allows us to keep having more cards to play each turn. All right, uh, we are doing best of one. I have a sideboard here, though, if you like best of three, so the deck list will have a sideboard with it also. So if you're a fan of best of three, um, we have a sideboard here, but we're, we're just doing it best of ones today because, as you all know, my computer is being pretty rough here recently we're going to have a new computer in on tuesday so we have today and tomorrow that we're going to be doing a whole lot of best of one because it it's a little bit less lag in playing just the one match so we're going to be playing seven games or like the one game instead of a whole match so we're going to be playing seven games over and ranked with our mardu enchantment deck Starfield Mystic looks like a guy who's been on a cutting diet and is, and is in a job that doesn't need him to be shirtless, but he really wants to be. <laughs> Just wants to show off that bod. Yeah, new PC hype. Can't wait. Two more streams. Today, tomorrow. That's it. Ugh, need more land. What do we got? We got 25 lands in here. That's pretty good. If only we had colorless enchantment so we could just make them free. I guess that card's just going to get exiled by the Theater of Horrors. So this next turn I could do Starfield Mystic and then one mana Prison Realm to get rid of like their blocker if they have a blocker. Boo.
All right, still hit the land drop. That's good. All right, got the fires of invention. Ooh, another theater. Let's do. Let's do it. Um, I guess I'll just play the Sacred Foundry right now because we don't need to scry because we already scryed that to the top. And it doesn't really matter if it's tapped or untapped. Oh, you know of a colorless enchantment? I can't think of any colorless enchantments myself. Ooh, Revenge of Ravens. Scry. Yeah, I want a Dawn of Hope. See, this this deck gets like some pretty sweet setups. Ah, Eldrazi Con Conscription. That's right. That that enchantment. Yep. That aura. Call us aura. So definitely play Dawn of Hope, where I can start making 1-1s one with that thing also. And I guess we'll Prison Realm this thing. No land drop, unfortunately. Sure, I'll just keep that there. <laughs> Ooh, that's a big dino. That's a dead dino. Now we got a Theoral Absolution in play to kill smaller things like that. <laughs> so many enchantments. So this thing attacks for one. But if they attack, they take one because of the re Revenge of Ravens. So they can't even attack with it. Oh, just have them in the hard lock. Oh, that's great. It's great. All set up, of course, by Fires of Invention, allowing us to activate theater and still cast 11 mana worth of spells. That was pretty sweet. Yeah, that was pretty fun. All right, what do we got? Do that again. Okay, we got the fires. Let's keep. Healer of the Glade. That's a good word, Glade. Glade. It's a fun word to say. The Glade. Mm, yeah, we should probably keep this. Get rid of some Nissa or something like that. Cavalier Thorn.
Yeah, this is a prison deck. Um. Yeah, I probably could have that four mana enchantment that. Uh, I mean, this isn't a bad card. Against a green creature deck. But we'll look for more card advantage. Maybe I should have kept that Realm Cloak Giant. Smothering Tithe. There you go. Yeah, that's the name of that thing. Smothering Tithe. Yeah, it looks like I should have kept Realm Cloak Giant. No, I don't plan on doing the 10 life draft. Um, I don't think it's necessarily too aggro. I just don't really plan on doing it. But yeah, it's, it's kind of too hard to fit Smothering Tithe, I think. But maybe you could have one of those in here. Well, that's annoying. I just want my card advantage engines by now. We don't really need Starfield Mystic. I want like Ethereal Absolution would be awesome. Kill Risen Reef for good. Or more more merriments or Yeah, basically Ethereal Absolution. That that's our best draw. Oh, why did I not attack with the Cavalier of Dawn? That thing has Vigilance. <laughs> hey, Frank. Yeah, oops. I was just kind of focused on the other things and just didn't attack with that. Um, I don't think I want to attack with it this time. I don't think I want them to have Cavalier and, and Paradise Druid block Cavalier of Thorn. Like, the Cavalier of Thorn and the Paradise Druid block my Cavalier of Dawn, sorry. Draw cards. Draw cards. Draw cards. Hmm. 
Yeah, this is called Mardu. Yep, the with white with Rakdos. This is Mardu. And so that's the, the first word here, the Mardu enchantments. Yep, today, tomorrow, or the last two days with this PC. Well, darn. Yeah, but I'm taking Tuesday off to build a new PC. Yep. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna office face this computer. <laughs> yeah, in this case, so just in case one of the fires goes away for something, we'll still have a backup. Now I can destroy my own fires of invention <clears throat> with my cavalier to get an extra 3 3. Oh, I guess I should have killed their Cavalier Thorn, because they, whenever they trigger it, I, I forgot I had the Absolution in play. They would just exile it. I should have just triggered, I should have just killed the Cavalier Thorn. There's too many, too much stuff in play. Because, yeah, like this, like whatever they choose as their target to put back on top of their library, we could just exile it from their graveyard. Yeah, we do need more enchantments. I know, right? I just destroyed an enchantment. We need more now. All right, we want to make life linkers. Lifelink. We need more life. Let's 
This deck's pretty sweet. Ethereal Absolution looking good. We didn't. I guess we had enough enchantments in play. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if we had enough. Ooh, nice Tesla. Tesla says, "I believe I've just created a very evil land destruction deck using Rao and Fires of Invention." There's a ton of four mana destroy land cards. So yeah, you start putting those together with Rao, and yeah, you get to cast multiple with Fires of Invention too. I could see that. <laughs> yeah, we needed more. True, didn't have enough. All right, we need to draw three lands. So we get to Realm Cloak Giant. <laughs> Turn three, the opponent only had one land. Yep. No, we need we need lands. Three lands. Land? Oh no. We're in trouble. That's how we pick up our loss. They didn't like us winning so much. Yeah, absolutely, Tesla. Yeah, you can share share the deck list link here. Yep. Absolutely. All right, it's two and one. That match took like as long as it as waiting for the next one. All right, at least this time we have a temple to scry to look for a land, and we're going second. I love having the, the double merriment. Uh. Unfortunately, this is not a good Clarion matchup. And with them scrying six, they should be able to find fires. Come on. This is my best card, but I need two lands. Uh, if I keep it, it's so greedy to keep it. We need, we need like our next two draws to both be lands. We just can't keep it. Thanks, right, Pax. Thank you. Well, that one's a land. We'll see if the next one's also land, and we could have kept fires. Oh, it is. But that one would have came into play tapped, so... I guess good thing. No fires, no fires. Ooh! Nothing. That's pretty big.
<laughs> wow, that was a great card. Wow. Well, never mind. This is going good just a little bit ago. Not anymore. This looked great whenever they played the temple. I was all excited. But then Ether Gust Your Merriment fires Cavalier Gales. GG. I know my responsibility. Here we go. Really wish I would have kept that fire's invention. This might be a bad idea. Corvold's a cool card. I like Corvold a lot. That's a that's just a really cool card. Person who has fires wins the fires mirror. More breaking news at 10. I guess I do need one more land, don't I? Hopefully Theater of Horrors can get us that land. Next turn I can, you know, I can play Fires plus Theater of Horrors next turn. So that's pretty good. Turn three. Fires and Theaters of Horrors. Oh, and we got the land. Oh. Oh no, that that land comes into play tapped. Well, that was just a bad turn for me. I wanted to, you know, try to bait them to counter with that, and then I was going to play Dawn of Hope. But then, with them not countering, I was just going to play the Dawn of Hope anyway to keep them from am casting Ambusher.
Hmm. All right, so two fires of inventions gone, unfortunately. Seriously, brazen borrower. Why do I have to play against opponents with these awesome hands I ever gave? Ugh. I have to block, of course. Oh, I can't even cast this thing? That's why I'm just playing one Kaya's Wrath, because I knew it was going to be difficult to cast. I messed up that game with the turn I played the castle. If I just don't play the castle, if I that turn four, if I would have shocked in, if I would have played the shock land, then I could have played the dawn of hope. And then they would have either had to counter the dawn of hope or play the ambusher. And if I play the dawn of hope, then I don't really have to play more things that they counter. I can just you know just make like some one ones and hopefully the revenge of ravens and the one ones can get there. I don't I don't know. They probably can't. <laughs> yeah. Kaya's Wrath, it's basically because I'm playing Fires is why I'm playing Kaya's Wrath. Yeah, I think I think you told me about that yesterday, Papa Tim. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm good. I got zip ties, so yeah, we're good.
Is this a McFlash again? I mean, for, yeah, there, there's there's a difference between 1440p and 1080p on Arena. There's a difference. Like, this is 1080p. I mean, y'all can't see the difference because I'm streaming in 1080p. But there's, there's certainly a big difference whenever I move it to 1440. It's a lot more clear. Or like, the, just like the, the text is more clear on the, the cards. It looks a, a, just a tad bit blurry in the 1080 on my end at least I don't but I'm streaming in 1080 so it's no difference for y'all so I'm I'm moving it you know I have it set at 1080 while I'm playing because um, because of that that certainly helps with the lag it'd be a lot worse if I was playing in 1440 so yeah, my monitor is 1440. But yeah, maybe with the new computer, if it all works really well, and if it's possible, I may be able to start recording the YouTube videos in 1440. Twitch doesn't have streaming in 1440, so I won't be streaming, but maybe with YouTube, we'll be able to record for 1440. I mean, that would, that would be awesome. I'd, I don't want to say that we will be able to. I don't want to guarantee it. Yeah, because the recording and rendering, that's that's what's messed up my computer. It wasn't built for this, for the recording and rendering for YouTube videos. This large crisis. Nope. Or maybe. Did not put a land into play. Agent of Treachery. All right, that's no big deal. But if they have if they have another agent of treachery and steal my absolution, then that's a big deal. Cool, Theater 4s. Get a card advantage engine, I guess besides Dawn of Hope that is. Yep, that's the problem. So if they had another one of those. 
Now I'm in a lot of trouble. Wow, Janini. That's, this is your fault. You said, hopefully he doesn't have the thing that makes a token copy with flashback. Now, well, that's that, of course then my opponent's going to have it. You can't say that. That's your fault. <laughs> Whenever you say, hopefully they don't have whatever card, then they automatically have it. Nope. Nope, doesn't look good at all. Okay. Well, I don't know if that's good or not. I mean, it's it's good unless they take it again with this other agent of treachery. I kind of need them to... Yeah, see, there you go. Sakrasta says, Oh no, I hope your opponent doesn't have five lands on top. <laughs> I kind of need them to, you know, use this and take, like, my Revenge of Ravens or something. Yeah, like that. Take fires of invention? Take fires. Just go ahead and take fires. Yeah, they are going to draw nine cards, so this is probably over. Darn, they did take my revenge. unfortunate i like my enchantments we played against like this this kind of simic, simic deck earlier and you know we just used all these enchantments and just beat them really bad but they did not have agent of treachery this this opponent had three agent of treacheries that's way too many I definitely cannot beat another Agent of Treachery. If they have another one, the game's over. If they have no more Agent of Treacheries for the rest of the game, we can possibly come back. But if they have one more Agent of Treachery, the game ends on the spot. Seek shelter in my stewardship. Nature's true power. That's a risky attack.
wouldn't mind a, a sweeper here. Uh, I guess sweeper, they would get back agent of treachery. No, but we would exile it. So yeah, I wouldn't mind a sweeper. That's... They're going towards the... Try to, they're trying to deck themselves. Got 26 cards, they draw another 9. Trying to deck themselves. All right, so same thing for this turn again. If they have... I didn't have a way to kill all the agent treachery, so if they have anything, if they have another thing to copy the agent or another agent, the game ends on the spot because they just take Ethereal Absolution, the game's over. That was obviously a really bad turn for me, just drawing nothing. So then really the point of the game where I can just have nothing. Alright, Tesla. Go have fun at work. Uh I don't know, I could be dead on board. I haven't really done no math. see well now we're dead on board I was gonna be able to make two because I could make two lifelink blockers and then of course the revenge of ravens was gonna trigger and let us gain a good amount of life with however many creatures they attacked with and I could make two lifelink blockers All right, one more. Yeah, Agent of Treachery. That's just a mean card when you're trying to play a bunch of expensive enchantments. That's pretty rough. That was obviously the card that won that, that one. Yep. Yep, that was Andrea Mangucci's version of Simic. It's a good one. Hello. I guess I'm not supposed to keep Starfield Mystic against the mono red deck. I was thinking, oh, I'll keep this card that speeds me up. 
but they probably play a lot of things that kill this very easily. Whoa. So Cavalier of Dawn can destroy Cavalcade. Alright, so we'll have to get rid of the Torbran, for sure. Obviously, our best draw is Fires of Inventions. That's what we're kind of looking for. Give us this extra mana to make more life linkers and stuff like that. Ten. Well darn. All right, not the best show in. Imagine if we would have found Re Revenge of Ravens though, and just canceled out the cavalcade. That would have been sweet. That would have been sweet. Okay, so basically, I don't know, we, our deck is kind of janky, for sure. We ran into a lot of opponents that had just awesome hands for their decks, which, you know, happens at best of one, and so, like, the, they had, you know, kind of better starts than we did. Um, kind of struggled with, like, just different things at time, like, you know, like, one time I couldn't cast Kaya's Wrath when we needed to Wrath, but we would have been able to cast Realm Cloak Giant. Um, you know, just had, had some different struggles, um, at different points for different things. I liked the Ethereal Absolution a whole lot. Um, overall, I mean, this deck was fun to play and it, it was good. Like we were real, like a lot of those games were real close kind of thing, but just our opponents just drew a little bit better than us. And so we went, we went two and five, um, but we got to do just a lot of fun things. And that's, that's the thing about Patrick. You want to play fun cards and fun decks. And that's what this deck is. If you don't like the Revenge of Ravens, you can go, you know, a different route and, and take those out. But I don't know. I like Revenge of Ravens. It's, it's definitely fun. Um, with this deck for Doom Foretold, you'd have to switch it up. So, yeah, like you could take out Revenge of Ravens for Doom Foretold, but then you would have to play a lot more things that you, that you want to sacrifice. That's the thing about this deck is it doesn't play the things that you want to sacrifice. So you'd have to play like eggs, like the eggs um, over like Golden Eggs and stuff like that over Starfield Mystic. You'd probably want Othakaya's in the main deck as well. Um, so you'd have to, you have to kind of switch it up. And then you also want more Wraths if you're playing Doom Foretold because you, you don't want them to have like little crappy creatures for them to sacrifice. So you need more Sweepers also. The Cavalier of Dawn wasn't... The Cavalier of Dawns weren't really that spectacular for us. We didn't really have the artifacts or enchantments to get back. Yeah, they, they weren't spectacular. There could be something better to be playing. I don't. I don't know if it's like Ken. You know, just play Kenrith instead. But we're not really doing the. Really, the only mode we're doing with Kenrith is the gain five life. But maybe we just play Kenrith instead, or, or something else. Or maybe just play more sweepers, um, more sweepers and more card advantage enchantments instead of these Cavalier of Dawns. Basically, had them as like something to kill Planeswalkers because we're not really playing anything else. Or we got the Prison Realms though, also, don't we? So yeah, maybe maybe that could have just been like another sweeper, and an extra an extra sweeper, and then one extra card advantage engine instead of the Cavalier of Dawns. But 
Okay, so there we go. Anyway, that's Mardu Enchantments, fun deck to play. Uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, uh, leave some comments as well. I'd appreciate both of those. But thanks so much for watching some Mardu Enchantments, and I'll see you for the next video.